Team leaders essentially become the face of UJ Heroes in the fall. We will have 100 team leaders. They will be the driving force of Hero in the fall, and they're going to be the ones that are promoting for Hero and really raising the bulk of our money in the fall. For being a team leader, you really learn about leading a group of kids through Hero and not just becoming a philanthropist anymore, but you get the leadership experience. And you really grow to love Hero because you have to sell it to the kids and the younger students who are new to the organization, so it made me love Hero even more. But when I was a team leader, I really felt like it gave me the choice to do what I want, and I felt like these people were really invested in me um, in a new way. So I think that was the best thing I gained for being a team leader. What did you enjoy about being? Being a fraternity team leader, um, it was a great opportunity for me to interact with all the guys in the fraternity, especially the younger guys coming up. So it was a great way for me to get to know them, but then also talk to them about our cause and get them excited about all the things we do and how great here it can be. My team leader was Amanda Daychot. She's the best team leader ever, and she just inspired me to be more involved in Hero. Or she's pretty much the reason why I'm on exec. Like, she inspired me to want to get more involved with the kids, and I raised all my money because of her. We went canning together, and then I went to Olympics, and we were there together, and I was in her group at Olympics, and it was just a lot of fun. Being a team leader really gives you the chance to hone your leadership skills, so you can kind of see how you lead a group, how you work with a group, what your leadership style is on a small scale, and then be able to move up to a committee or a committee head, and then eventually a board of directors. I just really loved it so much.